So, Xangari is monitoring the labs this year again. Huh? Yes. Right? That's true. Tell me, tell me about it. Sure, sure. Well, the labs are one of VMware's uh, top draws because people have the opportunity to come and take one of about 32 different labs that explore a variety of different technology. Now, here in the lab, there's several hundred uh, ESX servers that stand behind this. They're located in three data centers across the globe. Um, and so there's quite a bit of infrastructure in the back end that makes this happen. And Zangati's been asked to be here basically because our dashboards provide a real-time view into all of this infrastructure and allow them to track and monitor exactly what's going on. And should anything go wrong, which it hasn't, but if anything goes wrong, we're able to respond very immediately and get directly to the root of the problem. Very good. So, uh, so here in the in the labs, uh, they're busy de deploying literally thousands of virtual machines an hour, and all of that infrastructure is being tracked in real time by the Zangati management dashboard. And what you can see on this particular dashboard is you can see that we're tracking all of the desktops in the infrastructure. We're tracking the hosts that those desktops run on. We're tracking the data centers that are the data stores rather that. Um, the hosts use, as well as the paths that connect the data stores to the hosts. And then we're also tracking the infrastructure servers, things like DHCP and DNS and the connection brokers and security gateways. And all of that information for all of these various items, our system has basically profiled what the normal level of activity is, and all of that is then ultimately reflected in a health score at the top of the dashboard that gives you an at-a-glance view of the overall health. And you, know, you can see that there is a variety of different metrics here from bandwidth metrics to things like CPU, memory, data store information about IOPS and byte rate and you know things like that. And it's possible to use the tool to then drill into any of these categories and get a more detailed view. For example, if we go to what's called our monitor view, we can look at a list that would contain, say, all of the desktops in the whole environment. And we could search um, and sort these desktops by you know, any of a variety of metrics and indeed um, you know, looking across there's about two dozen metrics or so but we can also go ahead and drill in to a particular desktop and see exactly what's going on inside of a particular session here so in the lab. Here is actually the PC over IP protocol is being monitored, right? Yes, correct. And you can see that it's running a little bit hotter than the profile of that this desktop is normally done. And so we've kind of called that out as something that, that's a little bit unusual. Now, if we wanted to, we could even go further into this and say we wanted to investigate this PC over IP protocol. One of the features that we've just announced here at the show is our PC over IP viewer. And this PC over IP session viewer uses the Windows management interface to talk directly to the view agent that's in ESX5. And here we can see in real time the end-to-end -end latency that this particular desktop has back to the data center, as well as the actual composition of that PC over IP bandwidth. How much of it is image, how much of it is audio, how much of it is USB, for example, as well as a, about a half a dozen other parameters that uh, VMware's professional service organization asked us to include. So with View 5, this allows us to drill into the desktop protocol and find out directly from the view agent exactly how this desktop is performing. Another thing that we could do is we could decide that this CPU usage was interesting to us and there's a WMI button on our display as well that allows us to drill directly into the desktop and see exactly which processes are actually running on the desktop in real time, both for CPU usage as well as for memory usage. And this is designed to be able to catch any kind of runaway process that might be running away with the CPU or a memory leak that might be affecting the virtual desktop. All of this functionality is available without agents or probes. This is gathered by talking uh, using WMI directly to the actual desktop. And as always with Zangati, all of this information is also recordable as well uh, for future use or emailing out to other people. Other significant functionality that we've announced at the show is the ability to actually very granularly look into data stores. We've added storage as a first-class object in our system, and we can drill in uh, to a data store, for example, and we can see exactly how each host is using a particular data store. We can see the desktops 
uh, and their utilization by IOPS of a data store, and even the latency of how each desktop uh, is getting served by this particular data store. And so it becomes possible to track in an environment like this uh, pretty much all the performance parameters that affect virtual desktops, whether that would be um, you know, things inside the desktop itself or uh, you know, things like data stores or you know, other items that um, you know, are supported. So how many desktops actually is running right now at this moment? Let's see, here in the lab there's a total of uh, 280 desktops actually set up. Um, the, the lab is not at its busiest point right now. And there's also a variety of staff desktops that are also in use by people managing the lab, so on and so forth. We could get um, a quick idea of that by coming here and seeing how many things are currently using PC over IP. And that would give us um, at least an initial check. Um, looks like about 80 desktops are active at the, at the present time here in the lab. And that, of course, fluctuates wildly over the course of the, of the day and depending on what's going on. The, the keynote just about to happen. And how about these yellow uh, triangles over here? Yes, what does the, that mean? Uh, these are all items that our system has basically de um, understood that their behavior has changed. And that's outside of the normal parameters. If we were to click on any one of these alerts, it basically takes us directly to the item um, and starts to display um, you know, exactly what's going on here. And we can see that in this case, uh, the data store rate is running a little hotter than it had before. What probably happened, because you can see here the actual rate is not that high, is that uh, this was a desktop that was probably powered off and came on, and so it's starting to you know, use some information. Because we can look at it quickly and decide that there's nothing going on here uh, that, that's a huge red flag, except maybe that there's quite a bit of PC over IP bandwidth, almost a megabit per second. So, you know, the alerts serve as a way to direct the administrator to get directly to something quickly and then be able to make a call as to whether it's...